What's going on guys? So I had, uh, I've had a couple people comment and also uh, DM me on Instagram. They want to know how I keep my car so shiny. A um, couple guys said, you know, how come there aren't any swirls uh, like my car? Uh, another guy said, you know, he's got a white car and he sees swirls. He thought swirls can only come on a black car. I told him no, swirls can't come on any car. Bottom line is, you know, it, it all varies on the towels you guys use, product you use. Um, I mean, for an example, you know, when you, when you go drive these cars, say for a couple days, and um, you notice that pretty much the back of the car is just filthy. Uh, I've seen a lot of guys, you know, they just wipe it with a towel. Uh, that's not really a good idea and and actually I'll show you guys what has uh, pretty much saved saved my ass and, and made my life a little uh, a little easier first thing is first you've got to have a pressure washer um, so what I do and it's plugged in because yes there's a battery uh, you know pressure washer you gotta have a uh, push to start button if your pressure washer doesn't have a push to start button I mean you know I, I trade it in for a new one, but um, so with the pressure washer and this system right here makes my life a whole lot easier. Um, I wash my own vehicles. I don't, uh, and not that I don't trust anybody to wash my vehicles. Um, they just don't wash it the way I want them to be washed. Um, I'm happier with washing my own vehicles. And I know it's done right, and I know it's done the way I want it, and it's perfect. It all pretty much varies also on, you know, the towels you use, the product you use, um, how dirty is the vehicle when you're wiping it down. The reason, and, and don't get me wrong, guys, this Hellcat, you guys all know, this Hellcat's brand new, I, I got from the dealership. Um, and about a month ago, we, I had to do a paint correction on it, because this thing just had swirls pretty much all over it. Um, and you guys can see it, if you guys go on Genesis Detailing's Instagram, uh, he can you know, answer a lot of these questions a lot more than I can, but he did this whole entire vehicle, and I don't know, I mean, if you can see, it's gonna probably be hard in the camera, but pretty much this thing had swirls everywhere in it, and it took him, um, took him I think about two full days he spent on this, Pretty much, you know, correcting the paint, um, getting rid of all the swirls. As for the Viper here, he's going to come and uh, do this also next week. You see all those little swirls right there? I don't know if you guys can see that. They look like little uh, spider webs. That's how my truck and my Hellcat came. You can probably see them better right here. So see all that right there? I don't like that. That... That bugs the crap out of me. Um, let me see if I can show you guys some more over here. But he pretty much has this buffer uh, and some product that can take it out. Does an amazing job while doing it. Can't really uh, get the swirls here. But it, it, it does have them. This has them. Uh, this vehicle does have them really bad. Reason being it's because it's, this thing has never uh, pretty much seen a coat of wax, I don't know, probably not three times, maybe if that. It is a 1996, um, doesn't really get driven much. It's only got 7,300 miles on it. So these cars, also they don't get driven too much, they've been sitting, but also it varies on, you know, if it's your everyday car, I would put some, uh, some good wax on it, uh, get some good protection on there. Uh, from the sun. Again, these cars stay really shiny because I don't drive these in the sun. They're not my everyday drivers. So they're just, they mainly just sit in a garage. And my personal favorite product, um, so this product is a Lucas Quick Mist. It's a spray wax. Um, this is my personal favorite. Just, you know, if you got little stuff here and there to get off, it works really, really good. And then for my detail product, I use Adams. Uh, Adams polishes. Uh, I've been using them for a long time now. I've never had any problems with this product, and I just, you know, not going to change if uh, I haven't ran into any issues. 
So it all varies on product, towels also guys, don't go cheap on towels. Um, you know, I will admit I got some of these uh, Kirkland ones, the yellow ones that everybody in the world buys. This is much, much softer. Yes, this is, you know, way more expensive, but I don't want, you know, swirls all over my car again. Um, so, towels make a big difference. And, and again, these Kirkland ones aren't bad, um, but they're not the greatest. Uh, also, if you guys wanna go with these, these are Adams Polishes, other towels. These are very, very soft too, these white ones. Those work really good. I've got some of his pads to apply uh, the wax. You guys can check out his website. He's got all this on his website. What I don't recommend you guys doing is, you know, going for a drive uh, after a couple days. You know, it comes back and the back end is full of dust and you want to wipe it down. Um, I, I would not obviously you know take a dry towel and wipe it you're gonna scratch the crap out of it um, but if you want to do that I like to use again like I said um, the Lucas speed wax right here and if you're gonna do that soak the crap out of your towel and spray the crap out of the back of the vehicle uh, that's got full of dust on it if you guys don't have the spot free system. I don't like to do it this way um, just because you most likely you still have a risk of pretty much scratching it and you're gonna get the swirl marks. So the best way to do it, get the spotless system, uh, get a pressure washer, the spotless system, you pretty much don't even have, have to wipe the vehicle. Uh, remember guys, the more times you know, you're wiping down your vehicle, the more chances you have uh, putting in swirls. So if you can get the spotless system, pretty much how I do it is when all these vehicles get dirty, uh, I get the spotless system, I pressure wash all of them with the spot free water, and I just pull them in here and let them dry. Uh, I will go over like the windows, and if I see a couple marks, I will wipe them down. But if you can pretty much keep the towels off your car, it's the best thing for the least amount of wipes you can do um, just because you're just going to get more and more swirls you know get put back on the vehicle it's it's not a bad thing if you want to wipe your car down um, i wipe my cars down too it's, it's not a big deal just make sure like i said you use a, a really good towel um, not the you know kirkland ones the the best towels that i've used and i've found and have worked great for me are the adams polishes towel um, yes they are a little pricey but they work great. They will not put any swirls on your vehicle. And then you can also use, he's got a detail spray himself, the uh, Adams Polishes detail spray. It's a clear bottle, I think it's a pink fluid. You can use that, that also works good, but my personal favorite is a Speed Wax. I've been using this uh, for a couple of years now. And the reason I like this one is because you can literally spray it on the car, wipe it once, and there's no streaks or nothing. And like I said, you guys can go check out uh, Genesis Detailing's Instagram. Uh, he's got a bunch of cars on there. He did a paint correction. Um, he did pretty much this truck right here. This thing had really, really bad swirls in it. And it's hard to, uh, you know, when you've got this truck and you're taking it out of the desert, it's hard to keep all the swirls uh, off of it. But the spot free system really, really helps. Um, you know, you can see here, there's pretty much, I got no swirls on this thing. It, looks like glass but that's pretty much all I got for you guys today it's just a short video I just wanted to respond in a video uh, to the comments that I had and for the people that were wondering and asking me you know how my vehicle stays so shiny um, pretty much you know good towels good product uh, spot free system that will help you know you won't have to wipe the car or truck down as much and also, again, you guys got to remember, these are not my everyday vehicles. So they don't see sun, they don't see rain, uh, they don't really see any harsh condition, harsh weather condition. If, you, if your everyday you know, vehicle is getting beat up by the sun and stuff, I would keep a nice coat of wax on it. Also, Adams Polishes sells a product called H2O Garden Gloss. Here's his H2O uh, Garden Gloss and also the tire shine. Works amazing. All, all of his product is uh, is really good, really, really good. Um, 
The buttery wax, eh, it's good. It's not a really a thick, uh, good wax. If you guys want some of his good stuff, I would purchase right here. This Adams Americana paste wax. Uh, this stuff is amazing. And it lasts a lot longer than uh, Adam's uh, buttery wax. Not saying the buttery wax is bad. Um, it is just a thinner wax and won't last as long. So for your everyday driver that sits out in the sun, I would put a thicker wax on there. Um, and you know, if you watch Adam's video, he will also explain to you some of his uh, different products for everyday vehicles. Thank you guys for watching. That's all I got today. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Also, leave down in the comment section below what you want me to do next, what you want me to talk about next, uh, what vehicles you want me to review next, and I will do my best to get the videos out quickly to you guys.